Here's the next question, number 20. The magnitude of three-phase fault current at buses A and B of a power system are 10 PU and 8 PU respectively. Neglect all resistance in the system and consider the pre-fault system to be unloaded. The pre-fault voltage at all buses in the system is 1 PU. The voltage magnitude at bus B during a three-phase fault at bus A is 0.8 and the voltage magnitude at bus A during a three-phase fault at bus B is dash. So this is not a multiple choice question. We will have to work the question out. So the best way to go about this is to first uh, see how we can put this in a rough diagram. So I have drawn a rough diagram over here considering A and B here are the buses. Okay, and we have that the system the pre-fault system is unloaded and at each it is 1 PU. The pre-fault voltage at each bus is 1 PU. So we have 1 PU at each bus. And next we have the voltage at bus B after a three-fault, three-phase fault at A is 0.8 given to us. So now let us find out what is the voltage at B, at bus B. Let's call that VB. Now the general formula is this VB equals to V pre-fault voltage minus Z12 times the fault current at B. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we need to find out what is the value of this mutual impedance over here, Z12. So we plug the values in, VB is 0 0.8 pre-fault uh, voltage is given to us as 1 minus Z12 times 8. Uh, that's the current fault current given to us at B. We are finding out for B, therefore we need the value at B. Okay, so if we solve this and find the corresponding value for Z12, Z12 would be, uh, let's see now, 1.0 minus 0.8 divided by 8 and that gives us 0 0.025 PU. Yes, okay. And then now that we have Z12, Z12 is the same as Z21. So we can apply the same formula for VA. Now the question says the voltage magnitude at bus A during a three phase fault at B. Now let's say there is a fault at B. So we will have to find out what is the voltage magnitude at A. So the formula now becomes VA is equal to V pre fault minus Z21 times IF of A. So let me just write that here. Okay. So we have here VA now is V pre-fault minus Z21 into IF of A. So that would be, we need to find VA, right? So 1 minus, now we found this to be 0 0.025 times 10. 10 is what is given in the question. So that's 10, right about there, 10 PU, okay? So let's solve, we'll get 0.75 PU. So the answer here is 0.75. I hope this has helped.